Hey, my name is Nick D. Sebastian, and this is my new record, Window View. I decided to do this record now because I finally have the material all together. I've been writing tunes for about the past three years and I felt like it was time and I was ready to make this record. We were in the studio tracking as a band for about four days and that all went really well. We got about three songs done a day and we hadn't really rehearsed this, the material too much before so the first time I was hearing these songs come to life with a full band was in the studio which was really exciting and I'm, I was really happy about some of the improvisation and the chemistry that happened there in the studio. And most of it was done live. We went back and tracked a few things and edited a few things, but it was um, it's, it has a very live, live experimental feel to it. It's, it's pretty fun. I had Mark Lavengood playing Dobro on this record. He's, he's a good buddy of mine from Michigan, and I really wanted to have him there for his great, unique creative playing, but also because his personality is just so invigorating and inspiring, and he really brought a good energy to the session. Then I had my buddy Kyle Tuttle. He, uh, he and I went to college together. We met in Boston and moved down to Nashville around the same time, and he's a really good banjo player. We've been playing together for a while. Then I had Ashley Cottle on bass, and she's an amazing bass player, very solid, and has, um, has a really good sensitivity for different styles of music and different feels, and she was a real pleasure to have in the studio. I had Christian Settlemeyer on fiddle. He plays a five-string fiddle and he's really creative, has a unique approach to playing. I haven't heard anyone sound like him, and so I wanted to have that unique sound on these tunes of mine. And then I had Rachel Davis come in and sing some harmony, and she's just an amazing jazz singer, and she sings bluegrass wonderfully as well. I decided to have it recorded over at Brent Truitt's studio. He lives just down the road, which is really convenient. And also, he's recorded some of my favorite artists. And he ended up doing the mixing and all the engineering for it, and he helped me out with some of the musical decisions, and I couldn't imagine doing it with anyone else. I believe what sets Nick apart with his music is, is the fact that he's probably a little more schooled and has a little more technical knowledge of jazz and other types of music than just your general everyday bluegrasser. And uh, composition-wise, has a definite flair for um, melodies and putting just putting the songs together in a nice way. The material is a lot of my instrumentals. I guess it would be considered new acoustic music. There is a Flatten Scruggs number. Now if I should wander back tonight, would you be waiting? Would your eyes be filled with love so tender light? An old Bill Monroe tune that I made an arrangement of, sort of modern and funky. And there's also an old jazz number called I'll See You In My Dreams. I'll see you in this project has been something I've wanted to do for a few years and I'm really happy and proud that it's now going to be available and I'm excited for everyone to hear it and, and hope that people are going to go check it out. Mm -hmm.